fucking son of a bitch. Ready? We're on. <laughs> you are a son of a bitch. You're not on? No, I'm on. So we're on. Yo, well, yeah, we're on, but you're a bastard for recording me that whole time. Oh. I didn't know what you were doing. I was sitting here dancing like a fool, uh, making faces, and I didn't know this whole time that you had that the camera well, I, at us. Well, first of all, we were towards the end of setting up, and I just was like <laughs> kind of trying to decide on this shot because as people who watch this can see were set up differently this time and not trying to overdo it, just put the camera up. Yeah. But I was trying to figure out what was good. And then I was like, well, we're so close to starting anyways. And he's in his place. I was and rocking so, out. Hard. Yeah. You're rocking out. I was rocking so I just, out like, like the, MC five and the stooges and iron maiden. I was in my own world. Um, so I don't know what you're going to do with that. Hopefully nothing. But if it comes out, I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. And, uh, well, I'm not sorry for anything. Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I should be, but I'm not. I think it was just good to, I, I also was just feeling good about the shot at the moment. As long as you were feeling good about the shot. I feel good. And we're on. Welcome to the monkey brain. The monkey brain. Thank you guys for joining us. The monkey, the monkey brain. Everything's a little different today, isn't it? Everything is Why? a little different. Why is it different? Tell the people why it's different. Uh, because we're standing. <laughs> it's a trick question. We just fucking wanted it to be different. There's no reason. We're not. The couch is fine. It's still here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you got to mix things up. Um, I think earlier today, the rain, I think the rain really enlivened us a little bit. It damped us down, but made us want to do different things. Damped us down. Damped us down. <laughs> yeah. You ever been damped down damped by Mother Nature? By Mother Nature. Mm. It really, really was like some really heavy rain. And I remember there was a point I was looking, I was like, holy shit, this is like actual tropical weather. Yeah, I've always kind of made fun of the rain here. Yeah. Like maybe silently to myself. Where it's like, yeah, it'll sprinkle a little bit. I mean, it'll downpour and then you just, it stops or it's like light rain. It's never like, like in the mountains. Like, the rain has got diameter to it. You know what I mean? Like, right. you feel it, and it splashes you in the, in the head. And like, I felt that individual drop. In here, it's a lot more like uh, little, little things. But it was coming down, like you said, like a tropical storm, it felt like. Yeah. At some point, with the wind gusting. And this is the first, this is the first day I haven't been miserable just sitting around the apartment. Yeah. Like, it hasn't been hot. It's beautifully cool right now. The wind's coming in. And I don't have to sweat my life away. I Which think that's nice. the thing about this area and tropical places that I've been is the humidity can be just a headache. When you live in California, your sweat just evaporates off you. Yeah. So it feels a lot better. But I notice it, East Coast places like here and D.C. especially, I always get caught off guard with the rain <laughs> and what I'm wearing on my feet especially. Yeah. And you have a thing with the with wet feet, don't you? Yeah, it just always happens to be the day that I wear something that's not going to hold up in the rain. It always rains. <laughs> and so that's like pretty much all my shoes. I only have a couple of sneakers that do good in this type of weather that I don't regularly wear. They're not like my comfort <laughs> shoes. Yeah, you're a sneaker guy. You're a sneaker guy. Yeah. Uh, you're a utilitarian dude with your shoes. I don't even necessarily have something like, what would you say? Uh, galoshes. Galoshes? Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or That's what they would be. I have waders like or galoshes. for the snow. But when it comes to rain, I have a couple running shoes that are pretty well insulated. And then I also have a pair of like Kobe's that I don't mind wearing. Do you wear those in the rain? Yeah. Oh, okay, I don't fucking know they're, shoes. They're worn out. All right. What did you wear instead? Uh, my go-to Spargas or whatever they are. They're these are like barely little. They're like little <laughs> oh, canvas yeah. shoes. That ain't shit. No, they ain't shit. That's like a sponge. They're like this. They're these like they're Kinda basically like, like Vans. They're what? Like Vans. Like yeah, there's right. just nothing to them. They're like Converse Vans. Yeah. 
basically. Converse fans. Yeah, if we because nobody can see what we're looking at off yeah. camera, but yeah. I you, know we're looking <laughs> at them. I'm looking at them and I can't explain to you guys. Yeah, they're black. I think I said that the they're white canvas, rubber sole. They're canvas shoes. That are they yeah. look like kind of like simple skate shoes or something. Yeah, yeah, not great for rain though or puddles. Um, why were we in the rain? You ask. We were just unloading what we presume is food. We no, it was. Was it? Was, we presume. I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Oh, I, I saw them starting to open them up and prepare them. It wasn't drugs or arms. No, they're, okay. they're vegetables. Oh, all right. Cool. Yeah. Uh, no, we just, uh, the local, one of the, one of the neighborhood uh, yoga studios, Surya Side Yoga, um, is really active in the community. And um, there was a, a church that passes out, would you say, food, vegetables to um, homeless shelters. They do a lot of homeless outreach, especially right now. Yeah. So they had like a massive semi-truck. And they just called on the neighborhood to come help. So we, we rushed down there with some other people um, and just poured on us nonstop in all of our daisy chain lines. But it, when we got back, I looked at Addy and I said, man, I didn't even bother to ask what we were moving. I was just like, yeah, you need something <laughs> moved? I'll fucking move it. I don't care. Yeah. We, well, the way we turned up there, they were like, are you guys here to help? Yeah. Like, yeah like, we need you guys here. Yeah. And so they put us into the line and we were just like lifting and doing everything. Changing. It wasn't until, because I initially was supposed to start stacking things inside already, um, is when I, I went inside and was helping move some to the main, I guess, like kitchen area. Okay. And, or living room area. I don't know what you would call it. I don't think I ever went inside the door. Yeah. It's like a center. So it's a mm. house converted into something. But they were already starting to open what was inside there. It was oh, okay. like fruits and vegetables. That's good to know. I think they're going to make like video, uh, videos, uh, <laughs> food boxes for families. Cool. Yeah. So. Very cool. That was, um, I think it's Mosaic West Queens Church is what it's called. Mosaic something, Queens Church. Anyways. Mosaic something. It's definitely I Mosaic. Pay attention to the rest yeah. of it. Yeah. Mosaic and, and Queens. Yeah. So, I don't know, support them if you It was you want. like, because it was raining, it was one of those situations where you didn't want to just stand either. Yeah. Because you're like, if I'm getting this wet, I, should, I might as well just, like, help get this over with. It. But <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think that's why we were, like, opportunistic seekers. We're like, where do we need to be? Yeah. So we, were, we can get all this stuff done. I don't understand why some people, like, they got caught up in conversations. Like, they'd be... There was a couple times they'd be right by the truck, right? And they're, like, doing stuff down. And we had this awesome rhythm. And then they'd just get distracted and start talking to somebody. And people would be holding boxes in front of their faces. Yeah. And I'm just like, God, come on, man. Like, the rhythm. Maybe, maybe quarantine's been for real for them. And so no. To, like, socialize. No. Don't make excuses no, for them. No, there's just, I mean, you have different walks of life coming together. Yeah. So. And then you got the veteran, the veteran, um chain gangers right you get the ones that know what they're doing the chain gangers the chain gangers we're chain gangers wait chain gangers chain don't chain. worry about it Gang move on chain. move on move on chain. move me on please chain ganger get me off of this <laughs> get me out of here i don't know yeah no 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 well it's interesting we were talking about the dynamic with people and just how some some can come up to a project like that and look and see where it needs to be filled and just seamlessly pop in and just right. start filling. And then some people wedge themselves where they don't belong. Not don't belong. That's the wrong word. Where they're not needed. This is, <laughs> this is why I think this is how the creator of Survivor figured, like came up with the show. I was just watching a task that whoops should be so simple, be so confusing if you get random people together. Now let's just stress them out a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, so yeah. Then like throw rain on them. Yeah, yeah. And let's see how this works. Yeah, no, that's probably yeah, probably exactly so what happened. That's, what, that's exactly what, is what, what it was, was you had like strangers that came together and then... Um, <laughs> they stop being nice and start getting yeah, real. Yeah, and people, everyone, the goal is like a good goal. But then you have, like, the rain on top of people, people getting wet, uncomfortable, and how people respond to that, and then, like, where that escalates and de-escalates and stuff. That's why I think time is great, too, because it seeds out people. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, after so long, those people that aren't up in the caliber sort of wander off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're like... I, I think uh, people are there... Like, me and you are like... 
there, right? Because we're there. And we know we're there for the long haul because we have these stamina to do it. Well, yeah, we're like till the job is done type yeah. of people. Yeah. yeah. And there's, thank God there's a good handful of people that are like that, right? Right. But then you have the people that came show up to volunteer and it's like they're trying, in their mind, it's a marathon because they don't normally put themselves through that. Mm. And so their, where their heart is, is driving them up to a certain point. Mm. And then it's like, like the clean, cause the cleanup part is the hardest part, not clean up. And the shittiest part, the least fulfilling yeah. part. But not just, I mean, the cleanup of like actual cleaning up, but that ending part when it's like getting the remainder of something done. Mm-hmm. Like the final, like the fourth quarter time is the hard part, right? Right. And that's when it's like, you just want anyone that really doesn't want to be there anymore to be out of the way so you can just get it done. Yeah. I think that's like every project. Yeah. Yeah, serious. You just want the cleanup crew, the fourth quarter team. I'm a, I'm a tell me what to do type of guy. Like, I don't need to be chief. I could be an Indian. Yeah. That's fine. And, I don't, and I, that's what I mean. Like, I think if you enjoy the four quarters, let's say, all yeah. four of them, like, there's an appreciation of knowing, like, things get done and that they're done efficiently and, like, you know, you feel really proud at the end if it looks like it was done right. Mm. I do like that feeling. Like, that's, I think there are people that come into projects together and they all want to see efficiency. Mm. And that's, that's. Well, some people just don't, well, some people don't care. They just want to get, get, get it done and them to get credit for it, right? Right. That's, that's their, what I mean. That's There's all kinds MO. of walks of life. Yeah. That's why you need, like, your Phil Jackson. And then some people, for whatever <laughs> reason, <laughs> yeah. some people think that, like, if we're so efficient, like, if they don't feel like they're working hard, then then it's not. Like, they're not doing what they should be doing. It's a weird, like, they're, they're against efficiency. Do you know what I mean? Like, people that feel like being concise is not enough with what they do. Yeah, I mean, and that's why, <laughs> like I always say, you got to ask what your motivation is for doing something. Like, yes. If your motivation, let's say in like that environment, team environment, is to accomplish, help everybody accomplish, like that goal of moving these boxes into the or pro, the appropriate spots, right? Then you're gonna work with everybody to make that the most efficient way. If you need to interrupt the way someone sees their role in like that operation and it becomes because of you then you're you, you've already started to step into a different motivation for why you're doing it after that yeah but don't like underestimate some people's ability to fool themselves some unexpected incident can into doing this great work that you're doing and it's like someone did something to you and now it's like i gotta show them up or it's like or you know your whole motivation the whole time was to do this to show to other people that you're doing it. Yeah. Like that's yeah. where that, that valley starts to occur where you don't know what, what you're going to confront in that direction. If the whole time you're there and it's like, this is for the team. If you have like, you know, we were joking around, there was an older guy that was really trying to call the shots and he was just really like, like it was he has a thick thousands. Accent. Thick accent, right? Yeah. Very is this thick. guy that biked by us? When we were coming back? Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he's really cool, but yeah, at the totally. time, he was being such, like, you know, he was really demanding and shit. And yeah. He was the one I was working next to, stacking boxes, so a lot of times, he was talking to me a certain way, and, you know, my response a lot of times when adults, adults, I, know, I say this, right? I know. Because <laughs> I am an adult. We're adults. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're adults. But I think we're not seen as adults because we look younger than what we are. We range anywhere between 25 and 35. Yeah. And so that it's always one of those situations where I, I, I mean, even mind you, he's still like pretty senior to us. Sure. But the way he talks is like a kid sometimes. Like people are, do that quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Or call me boy or son. <laughs> and yeah. It's like, I don't like that, right? <laughs> uh, so anyways, yeah. I just, like, let him do that the whole time. 
And then he became, he came to be really cool once we were done and everything. Yeah. But um, if I had been there and it was all about me, you know, I could have, like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you know, it's not even about brushing something to the side. It's just, you know, someone's focus to do things their way. Him doing things his way didn't er interrupt me from being, still being able to work hard, Mm. being able to put myself in the right places. In fact, like, it was more funnier that way, like, to watch people the way they were being, right? Yeah, yeah. So... My favorite was, uh, did you see the old, the short old guy? I'm talking, like, 80, 90, very wrinkled, mask, yellow, cute yellow. yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) Yeah, like, you know, five foot nothing. But that dude was in the rain with us, like the right next time. to the top. And it was funny because, you know, I, I, all right. I <laughs> pride myself being able to move weight with yes. control. Yes. So a lot, whenever me and you would get separated, because you were really good about, and there's no special way to have to position a box for me like yeah I can grab but it. some people have the way right yeah so that's but my one of my th- thoughts on being efficient is a grabbing it with control b releasing it with control mm-hmm. and i think it benefits people that come after me to to be able to grab it the way they want to grab it yeah totally and that saves on like a split second in oh my dude mind. and and the amount of work involved like the strain on things like the old dude this was his grip. It was very, yeah. you know, close, close yeah. elbow, tight elbows yeah, yeah. under here. So I knew like, all right, well, I'll grab it this certain way, plop it right, yeah. right down. Yeah. And this guy just, he boom, kept going at it. Boom. In the rain. Yeah. Never, never let up and was out there, there with us the whole time. I was so impressed. There were some all-stars in there that really had good form. Yeah. And what they were doing. Yeah. Um, there were some people I was like, oh my God, I don't want your back. To you're gonna, use, uh, you, yeah. You're going to throw your back out. Yeah. Like you're leaning, you're trying to lean over this truck and hand down to me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's no good. Which is why I got that shoulder workout. Cause I was right at the edge of the truck. Right. So instead of them bending over to give it to me, I was trying to reach up for it. Right. So everything for me was like a shoulder press and right. then like a, a handoff. Like, yeah. So I guess shoulder press mixed with a, uh, one of those lumberjack chops yeah. for the core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, baby. Yeah, a lot of uh, oblique workouts. <laughs> I saw at one point when you're in the truck, you'd go like, and then like, like yeah. you had it, and you like, I was, so you came I was so high. It, I was getting it here, so I purposely was like releasing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then coming back, I was following back down my hands, coming the other way. Yeah. Set up to grab it again, and then coming up, going high up that way. And then setting my hand. So it was like everything. You had a whole flow. Spin, you had a whole flow. Tai Chi flow, bro. Oh, yeah, just exactly. Like, and, you know, mm-hmm. kind of staying in somewhat of a horse dance that I could like, you know, I, I had a rotation. Yeah, yeah. And I like, it was good because the pallets, I knew like we had to clean out two pallets and I had two directions. I had to send these boxes anyways. Yeah. So I was like, shit, this is dope. Like, yeah, I'm not even going to count. I'm it was just so gonna, cool breathe into it for a while it was beautiful oh it felt really good that's yeah. what i mean though like um gain those type of opportunities to understand the virtue in a moment yeah like as much as we were there to really help out and i'm so happy we we're there in reflection i really appreciate that you like had that on your radar because they would they definitely needed our help god dude uh but so the second bad. part was that it was a great outdoor workout in mm. some way that we haven't got like a functional out. thing where you can you're doing right. something good your mind is kind of tuned out it's not the normal workout where you're at the gym or you're like all right i gotta do this many sets or whatever and it was in the hard rain yeah so the elements like, dude it was kind of like you gotta earn it but you know it was like there was nothing to complain about it yeah, yeah. it was just like man this is just good hard work like good community togetherness and it was fucking great i'm glad you felt that way because there was, there was a split second today where, so I think they started, there was a shipment, a small shipment at 8 a.m. And then the big one was at noon or maybe it came at eight and they were just doing it ever since. Wow. I, I don't know, dude, but I know that there was a split second where I was just lazy Yeah. and I was like, ah, I'm sure they got it. It's raining. Maybe they're not even showing up. You know, I started making yeah. excuses in my head yeah. for why I just didn't have to go help. Right. Um, and I think it was last, the very last minute, I was just standing in the room, staring out the window, 
and just I just stood still for like a few minutes. And I was like, get the fuck dressed and go help. Like, even if you're, I was already late. Yeah. yeah, 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 The time had passed. It was like six, six minutes past when I had set the, the calendar alert to go there. Um, but yeah. And so I just got dressed and then that's what you saw me and I told you what I was doing. You're like, oh shit. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go do it. (laughs) All right. Let's go do it. And we were 40 minutes late, right? To the, to the initial like meetup time. Um, and it was funny because we walked up and there was a van that we saw and they were loading, like the unloading the last few boxes. And I thought, oh shit, we missed, like we missed it. But then in the back of my head, I was like, well, maybe they'll see us walking up and we'll get credit for trying, right? Hey, we're here. Oh, we're so sorry. We're late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like, no, 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 don't go anywhere. <laughs> that truck needs to get unloaded. And that was the semi truck. And so, yeah. Uh, and, then, and then the rest is just moving history. But I'm so glad I, I felt it feels good to do something for someone else always. You know, and then to do it with the community for, um, you know, families and people in need right now yeah. is the way to go. Like, yeah. that's just, it's just edifying on levels that are hard to explain inside. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think because I like to measure, like, I always like to see what the value is that we're doing in something. And, when we're doing things on our own that, you know, they, they have one, one type of, I guess, effect on your surroundings and then something like that has a different effect. And what makes it even more important is because it's food. Yeah. Like, that's just a, people's necessity in life. Yeah. Um, so there's just so many, like, things that weighs so much more than anything else people can do right now, right? Is get food allocated to some, uh, a certain place. Right. Um, but then more so too, like just all those people are there volunteering. And I think it's a different sense of team to, to see like, it's such strenuous work and people actually want to take their time to do that. Mm. And, I think, like, I was so satisfied seeing that people actually really needed help. Like, that, yeah. the people yeah. actually turned out there were not the people that you would expect to be out there doing that in the yeah. first place. Because it's so much, it's strenuous work. Yeah. And so it made me feel good that <laughs> you reminded me, and I was, like, in a really good place. I was, like, after, I had just had coffee and a bang. Dude, so I was like, thank yeah. God for the bang. Yeah, the bang saved us. Yeah, I was we like, all right, prepared let's do for that level. My body was like, <laughs> my body was at a good place. Where I was like, yeah, I'm ready to do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> something. But we didn't know it was uh, a whole semi. Intuitively, I I put in the right type of stuff in my <laughs> body. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I think it ended up being like 122,000 boxes that we unloaded. Wow. I think it was the yeah, math yeah. that we did. It was like 22 pallets or something like wow. that that we, we got out of that semi-truck. Um, <laughs> had no clue. I did not know, dude, it was going to be like that no. when we went. I, I, yeah, you didn't fill me in. I didn't have details. <laughs> and in my head, like, I, I didn't really think about Because, yeah, we, we've done this before. Yeah. But I didn't remember, like... <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this in the rain. No, Not that was a new one. Rain especially. Yeah. But I don't think like that much either. Yeah, the rain was an interesting little uh, uh, X factor. It reminded me, I don't know why I was like trying to think of why. Have I been in this situation? What? Unless I've seen this situation. Maybe when like I was reporting. Rain? Yeah, and maybe. Unloading refugee, and stuff? Like uh, in the refugee camp. Yeah, something. that makes sense. Yeah. Like rain. The rain. No, we're good. <laughs> I felt the button. I felt it, but I didn't I didn't press it. Um That's the crazy part too, is like I always think about when all all kinds of calamities have already occurred on people. Mm. And then you add like maybe homelessness and we have something like a virus but other diseases and then you have a day where it's raining and that actually just worsens 
the situation. Hmm. And then I like I was thinking that about that a lot uh, when we were doing moving the food. I was like, like that's crazy. Just a day where it's either sunny, like where the temperature's too cold or too hot. If it precipitates, like really can just shake it. Yeah, yeah. A person's day. Yeah, it's excuse. You can see, you can see the effect of um, like the constant rain on people. How their attitudes get a little, yeah, thinner, or their patience is a little thinner. The attitudes a little sharper. Yeah. Um, kind of like it makes me. I don't know what the word is, but like I think to like the Vietnam War, where they're just out there in where it rains every single day. Yeah. Nonstop for like months, right? Yeah. And that's just life. Can you yeah. imagine living that? Like never having dry shoes. Yeah. Can you imagine never having dry shoes, Addy? I I can. It would suck. I would not like it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm gonna go on record. I'm gonna make a stance. Uh I'm against trench foot. Hmm. <laughs> trench foot. Uh, yeah. But that's what I mean, like I think that's why when people accomplish certain things under, especially if there's like natural obstacles they have to, like weather or uh, terrain, just environmental obstacles, that like makes something a little bit more prestigious. Yeah. Like anything as simple as winning a football game in the rain or yeah. maybe, you know. Mm. Climbing like certain type of mountains or terrain with a lot of precipitation. Sure. Or even well, that one even not even with precip- precipitation. Uh, elevation, it's its own elevation environmental thing, time, right? Yeah. You know, um, or wars being fought, like you said, like trenches. <laughs> like war already like sucks, that. right? But yeah. then imagine it's just like, okay, well, it's going to rain every single day, uh, every yeah. minute of every day. Yeah. Or it's going to be triple digits every minute of every day. Yeah. Or it's winter and it's just snow and yeah. you're going to get frostbite on every appendage. Like, yeah. That sucks. And you still have to hold it down. You still got to hold it down. You still got to hold it down. And the only thing that gets you through that is the community part, right? So mm-hmm. we were in the rain with other people. They're in the rain, too. We're all yeah. just getting fucking pissed on. Neighborhood, brotherhood. Yeah. And at the end, it was like, hey, man, like, what's your name, brother? Yeah. You know, where, what street are you on? It's yeah. like, oh, you know, we're over here. And, oh, yeah. right, I'm dashed down there. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. I'll probably but, never see him again, but you never know. You never know. Yeah. Now there's faces amongst the strangers. Right. At least a few new ones. There's some sort of relatability. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think when when people collectively can see that they're being affected, like there's a common vibration or notion now or like every, this is a new thing people can feel commonly affected all of them yeah and if you're especially if you're in the same area you it, there's a relatability too because you're like oh we're all in the same area going through things at this time right we're we not alone get affected by it simply. we're together our little tribe is here yeah and it could be if we need each other yeah there's some evidence that we can be here for each other right right um that's why i love that's why I love the walks. I think I've talked about this with you before. I love walks around whatever neighborhood I live in. Yeah. Um, I call it my, like, prowling my jungle, right? I'm like, yeah, the, yeah. I'm like the jungle cat, and I'm prowling around. That's how like, look at my face, see me. No. Like, <laughs> from, meow. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Two but, podcasts in a row that is meowing. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. But I like that. I like when people start recognizing faces on the street. Like, even if you just walk around... Sunnyside, right? Right. And you start seeing the same person, like they're running their errands every single day. Your routes are the same or whatever. Right. That familiarity is, there's some comfort to that. There's yeah. some, there's a hominess, a home feeling. And I no, think it's like it dissipates the, the unknown being such a, a fearful thing. Yeah. Um, but when you have that familiarity, it, I don't know. I think r- right off. the darkness a little bit. Right off the back, like we're community animals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, w- that's why we have language. Well, and that's why solitary confinement is kind of cruel. It is cruel. It's kind of a cruel punishment thing. Cruel. You know what I mean? Like, poor uh, poor zoo animals. I remember the memes going around when it, we were, like, midway 
through, I don't even know how to put it. We were like a month in a quarantine and they're like, now you know what it feels like to be one of these zoo animals. And they're showing zoo animals in concrete cages and shit, like then old zoos and yeah. Like, yeah. That's 100% true. true. 100% true, dude. Yeah. This is what it was like to be Tillicum. I don't even think it's as extreme. Some as people are biting their families. Some people are trying to bite their families in in quarantine right now. Like but that, the they don't tell come an apology. It's still not as bad as what they're doing. They yeah, no fair. Yeah, imagine if uh, you were quarantined, but also the air that you were breathing had like chemicals in it, and your skin was just getting like burned and stuff. That was the sort of I the mean, sea the world day, water. You have the key to your cage. I do. No. Yeah, you do. I do? Yes, you have the key to your cage. If you're you're being said to be stay inside, you still have the key to your cage. An animal doesn't have the key to its cage. That's a fair point. It can't step out of it at all. It's a fair point. And it wasn't the one it chose to be put in there. And it probably wouldn't wear a fucking mask because it doesn't have thumbs. Know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, how do we get onto the mask? <laughs> well, I, we're talking about quarantine and the keys and... No, but what I'm saying is... I don't know, I just jumped there. As much as quarantine, we still can step outside. And yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm with you. No, quarantine, the lockdown is, please stay inside. (laughs) Guidelines, it's suggested that you stay inside. Please, Please stay inside. For everyone's betterment, stay inside. Okay. Your, please stay inside your... Your home. That I have the key to. That you have your key to. But a caged animal, come here. Stay in there. And yeah. And then the I don't have the key. If As an animal, animal, you have nothing. Sad. You're just by yourself. Yeah. It's not even called quarantine. Though. It's just called life. It's imprisonment. It's called captivity. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's not captivity. That's called imprisonment. Well, they're both the same. Captivity is a polite word for it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, it's prison. It's imprisonment. God, Straight up dude. imprisonment. That's so sad. It's the truth. I know it is. It's a hundred percent. I just really bummed truth. myself out though, thinking about it. It's what is that? Uh, um. That black. Not. Black mirror, black water, black something about <laughs> the zoos and the oh, whales. blackfish. That's black what I'm talking fish. about. T- yeah, Tilikum was the Tilikum was the orca that was uh, the star of blackfish. If if I could use the word star, I don't, I don't know if that's heartless or not, but you know what I mean. The subject, star. the subject. Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> the subject is now a, a viral character. You're not allowed to say viral. That's insensitive now. Is that a hundred percent true? <laughs> or be. you just decided that Could be We can make it true if you want I'm confused What is tr- Dude Nothing's We live in the world where All you have to do is make something Spread around enough And that becomes true So what do you want to make true? Wait So Okay <laughs> Viral Cannot be used anymore I think we should probably not we should no, I don't say know. things go viral. Anymore. Let's outlaw a few words right now. Let's <laughs> outlaw think viral. Survivors are like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you say that, that makes me feel. <laughs> 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 they have like PTSD from their viral disease. God, dude. I mean, you had a you had chicken gung, yeah. You had PTSD yeah. from that for a little bit. I'm not like slapping myself from a mosquito. You're just like full face slap Whenever if you feel one. Like, Whenever a video goes viral, I'm not like, <laughs> you're like, oh, or how how dare they celebrate this opportunity? You just start sweating when you hear the word viral. Yeah. <laughs> your stomach cramp. I think when things become overly PC, that that's like someone wanting to feel important about something. Yeah, we gotta not get too far there for no, sure. No, but I mean in the sense of like, if it gets that sensitive, yeah. Like, the word, let's say the word viral is yeah, yeah. too soon. Shit. Um, I'd be like upset because I've had a viral disease. 
Yeah, you could actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, the way they use this word so loosely. <laughs> they don't They're understand. They're appropriating how I went my hardships. Yeah, my hardship. Yeah. I don't know. Everyone. Like everyone stretching. Needs to calm down. Yeah. And then having, <laughs> like, if it was too soon, like, we just shouldn't mention viral diseases anymore because we're going through a pandemic. <laughs> It'd be like, if anything, we need to more people to understand what that word means. If I use it, that would hopefully reach more people so they understand it better. It sort of just jumped into my head. It reminds me of those early 90s times, early mid-90s, where it was not okay to joke about AIDS. Do you remember? Not yeah. okay. You know what? You're right. <laughs> yeah. But do you know, but okay, different. And then the joke was, is it okay to joke about AIDS yet? And then now it's whatever. Yeah, I think it, anyone can joke about AIDS. <laughs> well, but yeah. at the time, I think it was because the public had convinced everyone that it was a disease only passed in the, the mm. gay and gay community. Yeah, there was a lot of fear, a lot Sorry. of inaction at, at the there's a lot of inaction and fear at the time. I think I'm right. Um, no education about it. You know, it was brand new. It was yeah. People, uh, back to the unknown, if it's unknown, people tend to freak out. Well, I think it was similar in the sense that with uh, the Reagan administration and Bush, um, when it started happening in the 80s, they tried to downplay it. Mm-hmm. And Mm-hmm. Also pushed it to the gay community. So, yeah. if you were making fun of the disease and you were in a group of people that actually were educated on the disease and how it was affecting the community, mm. and you wanted to keep it PC, it would not be yeah, no, that's a good point. To make fun of it, yeah, yeah. Um, but to like uneducated, to I think people that wanted to attack the gay community they would make fun of it Mm -hmm. that's how i i and this is being a kid remember yeah yeah i'm sure this is all tainted through childhood yeah our best estimate from what we were feeling um it's crazy that the couple things we have in common between what is that now 40 years ago about yeah the 80s about 40 years ago uh republican presidents yeah and Fauci. Fauci's still around. Fauci's still around. <laughs> Fauci hasn't gone anywhere since then. He's still here. He's always been a good... I thought, That's what I mean by, like, I think he's been good for the nation for the most part. Yeah, dude. Like, considering what the presidents is he's dealt with. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Well, and back then, too, um, even though he was trying to figure out and help with the HIV... Uh, panda- epidemic, I think was the word for that. Um, you know, the gay community hated him for a while, too. He was getting it from all sides. Yeah, he was getting it from all um, sides. But then I think they realized, uh, oh, he's, he's like, trying to help us, or he's, he's, a, he's an ally, not a, an enemy. Um, it's interesting how, like... I don't want to speak for the gay community, okay. but... Like, these are both viruses, right? And they're transmitted, to, like, in different ways. And, I mean, the ultimate goal of the virus, or I would say not necessarily the ultimate goal, because the, isn't the ultimate goal of the virus to be passed on? To people, fucking replicate and pass on. Right? That's it. So this is, like, for this specific, like, for HIV, the way it's being passed is, I think, only through blood or through, what was it, um... Like sexual fluid. Sexual fluid, right? And for like COVID, it's saliva, just saliva. Yeah, it's not blood. It's not blood. No. It's just saliva. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So, and then they both attack the immune system in different ways. Like with HIV, it's an autoimmune disease, right? With COVID, it becomes like a respiratory, up to our, what we know, we know yeah. really, it Jesus. can be a very heavy respiratory viral disease. Right. And then it, it's been seen to maybe affect 
people's organs because of the clotting even their minds in certain ways yeah i think that's because of the blood issue the the coagulation yeah. is the theory god knows yeah. it, it's just a very aggressive viral disease as well it's sort of a manic disease isn't it huh? as far as uh the effect it's a manic disease depending on um the person like they can't pin it down necessarily like well some people experience kidney issues and some people have the lung and the heart and you know like the cardiac arrest yeah, yeah. And, and they keep trying the, to figure out mm-hmm. like why some people are more susceptible right. than others it's fucking interesting man yeah why we need more geeks on this we need more science but what well what i was trying to point out is like i mean the overall thing is that okay so vir- viruses want to be con- what do you say passed on mm-hmm. or that's one of their goals and then I guess they viruses take over their carrier until they get everything they can out of it. So that means it's just it's consciously taking sucking all your energy to replicate itself and be passed on. And once it's done doing that, you're done. Right? So it does these two things. And then the public, for some reason, um, treats these diseases each time there's a viral disease or any type of disease as a political situation. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Even, like, let's say contamination of stuff. Yeah. Or, like, if a, a product is unhealthy. Yeah. It's, everything's political. Like, people... Like other countries, if something's like deemed unhealthy, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that, oh, this weed killer causes cancer. Yeah. Or this baby powder or asbestos. And it's like, oh, well, let's not yeah, use it. And then here it's like, nah, we're going to go ahead and use it because business and money. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. So it's like. Capitalism. That, yeah. So that's how we're, we approach diseases, too. It doesn't matter the disease. Yeah. It doesn't matter any of those things. Yeah, that's fucked up. I think in addition to the um, you know, humans are uh, pack social creatures, yeah. we're also competitive species. And I think politics is a, like, a version of societal competition that has become like it's our team versus everyone, at least it's here. You know what I mean? Maybe with the two-party system. I don't know. I'd be curious to know if it's if that mentality is less in in places where there's like five different parties, you know, six different parties equally. Um, yeah. I all I know is this: where I th- I thought like let's not say that, like when we were younger, things are as progressive as they are today, mm-hmm. but. I felt like it was a little bit more clean, le- clearly, de- uh, Delineated, clearly apparent, defined. Yeah. Uh, logic. Yes. Was always behind people. Sorry, people's decisions, and there's no clear logic, and this is on both sides sometimes about For sure. a lot of like. For things, sure. Right. Yeah. And it's just mind blowing to see that people can put so much passion behind things that they have not thought about. Yeah. Like, they'd rather be invested in the way they feel about something instead of putting or investing time into seeing how they think they they should think about it. Right. Yeah, that's incredibly apparent right now. Like, it's all feels. No one's actually sitting and intellectualizing life at all. All feels, no brains. All feels no brains. <laughs> that's that's a lot of people's like life mantras right now. That's fucking ridiculous. But it, it, it's very I apparent. I feel like it, generations raised on feel statements. It, yeah, and what what blows my mind is like it's it's being. I don't want to say a, yeah. I guess it's like a broken record. Like I feel I feel, like everything's like me me me. How does this make? Like, right. how does this make me feel? Well, we were taught that that was a neutral way to, to discourse. Yeah. That's what, like, that we were raised that way. Like, a whole generations of kids were like, you know, use I statements and 
this, so yeah. it's not attacking somebody else. And there's got to be a middle place where we can discuss things without, you know, if, if I'm just because I'm saying like, well, I feel this and I think that, that doesn't mean I'm fucking right. No. There's still truth and fact. Right. But I do think using that as a, a easier way to discourse to finding those truth and fact. If it all stops at you. Yeah, then it doesn't matter. Then if doesn't it stops matter. at you, it doesn't matter. But if I'm like, man, you know, I feel like it doesn't have to stop at just you. And then you're like, well, I feel like most of the time people do this. Like, okay, well. And then we can intro. If it's, if it's in good faith, right? If you and I are arguing or not arguing, I hate arguing. But if you and I are discussing something in good faith. Oh. I hate arguing. Not just with you. I hate arguing with anybody. Oh. Uh, I, <laughs> fuck off. Uh, yeah, but we're naturally trying to come to a, a funnel place, like a, a where our roads sort of meet, or at least where we get close enough where we're in the same direction. And we're like, oh, well, I have a different way, you have a different way, but we agree on the tenets and principles, and that's just not not there right now for a lot of people. Yeah, they just cannot understand how to like live past themselves. Caught in their own... Neo truths. I don't know if I don't know if that's a word. I don't know if I sound pretentious throwing neo in front of something to make it a, a term. Neo truths. Like where you, yeah, where you say just like, oh, it's a meta this or it's a quantum that. It's a neo this. Um, it's just I think people are following like self centric narratives, right? I think self-centric is a theme. Yeah, it's the theme. And literally, there are groups of people that are all on that program. Mm. Um, that are all around each other, and that functions really well. And there's a lot of great distractions out there for them. That when they don't have to think intellectually and make important decisions that affect each other, there's enough distractions that they can share with each other that allow them to stay caught up in that that realm, I guess you could call mm. it, or a fantasy world. Yeah. Like, if you have enough entertainment, enough something yeah. for them to Which keep we do. doing yeah. that doesn't contend with, you know, making it doesn't make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Then they're okay. And there's areas in this country... Let's just use this country as an example. There's areas in this country that are good with the distractions that they have and don't want to have to think too deeply. Give me that tiger king. Certain values. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> Which I still haven't watched. Yeah. At this point, it's principle. Now, I don't. At this point, I'm entrenched. Yeah. You don't have. I think you'll, you've <laughs> made a good decision. By I feel watching. like. I don't need to watch the this exploitation of tigers and yeah. meth and rednecks. All, all at the same time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All at the same time. Yeah. They're not all like that. I've spent I've spent much time in the deep south, you know, and the the Bible belt and the Bible belt buckle as I call it of Texas. Yeah. They're not all like that. I mean, when I say this I'm saying for both sides because even like let's say on the liberal side People don't vote. They just, you know. Someone will do it. I'm comfortable. People don't vote. Yeah. And on the other side, so everyone has their entertainment to be stuck up. Yeah. Like, you know, and, and so people don't make conscious decisions about their contribution to their society on a daily basis. This sounds like a very self righteous podcast <laughs> today. They don't make decisions for the betterment <laughs> of society. My nose is tickling, so it's like, am I saying something wrong? Dude, I keep... Oh, no, I think it's just... Well, I don't know. For me, I keep brushing up. You know how I count. Oh, yeah. I'm doing my thing. You know what it and is? It is pokes we had it up those, in there. the face masks on. Yeah. And You've got one stray wet. mustache hair that's just like... Oh, yeah. I have bing. these, like, whiskers that yeah. come up. Yeah, that's it. You got it right there. Like cat whiskers. That's the worst part about the mask and the beard is it just, like... It's like... Bedbeard. Remember you discovered yeah. what Bedbeard bed was beard, this yeah. last year? Um, it's like constant Bedbeard. You just bed. look insane. And then it starts puff, puffing out some of the little yeah. little ear sides. And it's just people look at you like, why? Like, what's under? One, what is under that mask? And two, what the fuck do you have a beard right now? Is yeah. the looks I get from people. Yeah. 
And do you know why I have a beard right now? Because this is goddamn America. Because goddamn America. Because of freedom. This is a freedom beard. Because of my freedoms. This is a freedom beard. It's free to grow. That's that's right. That's right. Uh, That's right. This is my expression of fucking freedom. Yeah, that's right. Mask be damned. Mask be damned. Don't infringe on my freedoms. Don't tread on my mouth. (laughs) I'm so sad. I should probably wind down now. I'm so sorry I said that. (laughs) Don't tread out of his mouth. Yeah, I'm going to wind this down, and we can start winding down if you want. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I think wearing that mask, I can... Even today, when it was soaking wet on my face, I did not want to take it off. And with how much it was disrupting all this stuff that's in front of my face, like the beard and mustache... I still didn't want to take it off because I didn't want to get COVID. Yeah. And Dude. if I was potentially, uh, <laughs> if I've got it and I could pass it, I don't want to pass it on. Yeah. And we've also gotten really good with wearing it. Yeah. Like we, we biked uh, 28 miles the other day around yeah. the city, like uh, through Central Park and yeah. Brooklyn over two different bridges. We wear that thing the whole fucking time. Yeah. Um, we've ran, we walk in it, we ran in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. It just get used to it, dude. You just and get used to it. If you think of it, if you think of it like, um, you know, high end athletes when they're doing their aerobic training or anaerobic training, yeah. sometimes they're wearing the mask, right? And they're just getting better. They're just making their, their respiratory better. Right. That's just science, right? It's stronger lungs. Dude, stronger lungs. Better uh, efficiency, like aerobic efficiency. Yeah, are these, because is what I'm we saying. We were breathing heavy today through a wet. It was basically <laughs> breathing through a wet mask. Yeah, Car- like doing like moving and lifting. The Dude, whole if time. it wasn't, if I didn't have the um, the nose bridge, plastic nose nose bridge piece, I might have been waterboarded. I th- yeah. like if it was just pressed <laughs> up against it, I'm just like, <gasps> I'm just no, huffing. but that's what I mean. It was just like, aspirating it's like water. waterboarding, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's like uh, mine was just up on my face, and I was breathing through the water, and you know, so like, get you a good mask, people, because now we're making the case for not wearing masks. Yeah, <laughs> now we're no, doing the opposite I know. of what I just started. Well, to do. we were in the rain for a couple hours, yeah. like just torrential rain. It yeah. Was like, Real Doing tropic work. weather right now. I'm feeling in my legs a little bit. Oh yeah. Um, like just lifting for nonstop, like a whole truck of boxes. So the whole rain, it was just drenched. Dude, we were there for three hours. Yeah, I just realized. Head to toe Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So see, the <laughs> we were being waterboarded so much we don't even realize how long we were there. Like, my body's, like, actually, like... I'm starting to the, feel it. As I was drinking this coffee and we were getting to a place where we were, like, adrenaline was coming down. Yeah. My body the actually bang is wearing up. It. Yeah. Fuck. That's what I mean. Like, it was so fitting. Because when we started it, this podcast, like, almost an hour ago or an hour ago, we still haven't broke our fast yet. Oh, God, I haven't eaten. Yeah, we haven't oh. ate today. So I was, like, four, yeah. 4.30 like, like, p.m. You here. caught me at a, that... The point where, like, I had caffeine surge, I had all the remaining energy of myself. <laughs> right. And I'm like, yeah, let's go do it. Yeah. And so we went and did it. <laughs> and now that my body's finally coming down, oh. I'm like, oh shit, like, we did a lot today. Dude, it's all yeah. rushing in right now. So, what I'm trying to say is, like, if we could do that in the mask, was not the uncomfortable aspect of it. Yeah. Like my wet feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you didn't once complain about your mask. No. Just, but like three times about your feet. Everyone was wearing their mask. Yeah. Still working through it. And I thought that was like really powerful and everyone just like gets it. Like, I love New York for that. New York is I do love that. Yeah. Everybody knows. And they've been calling people out. Yeah. Remember, I I keep seeing people calling each other out on the street from my window. Yeah. Like, everyone knows that we, in New York, they, they want to work together to bring down the curve and. And they did. Get things back to normal. Yeah. And I hope the things. rest of the country can, like, figure that shit out. Because yeah. it's not a big deal. Just adjust, man. Yeah, just fucking adjust. Just adjust. Maybe someday it'll get back to normal. I'm sure it will. But not this year. <laughs> Heal the world. <laughs> make it a better place. <laughs> 
Whoa, man. Dude, my blood sugar and the weed. My blood sugar. And my muscles. <laughs> and my muscles. And I'm finally dry. Yeah. I'm fading. <laughs> I'm fading from the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted because now I'm thinking like, whoa, what am I going to eat? What yeah. am I going to break fast with? Mm. <laughs> my you, favorite time I of mean, day. I like, you, you're in a place where you already had deficiency. Yeah. And that's part of like intermittent I'm s- fasting. Is I'm in to such ketosis. Get your body into a deficiency. And one of the main things for that longevity, the long, or the long, or the long range of time is because then like one thing is your liver starts to clean up a bit yeah. when you do something like that. I know some, uh, some endocrine stuff yeah. is happening. So, you know, when you're in ketosis, Ketosis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you're in ketosis, no. it's an inside joke. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but you you've you have a well full day of energy you've been putting out. Why are you talking to me it's so sexily right now? I'm sorry. Why are you saying why whatever you you're, you're hungry cradling for in my life head right with you your deserve. words? You deserve. Stop it. trying to seduce people with your ketosis. Your ketosis. <laughs> with your with your nutritional knowledge. No, no, no. What you're saying is true. Yeah. And I love it. I'm just saying what you feel is okay. You have a right to feel it. Thank you. I never, I never doubted myself for a second. It's your body. It's your temple. Yeah. And you should listen to it. Yeah. And you should know when to give it what it asks for. Nourishment. Nourishment. What's the nourishment? I'm so excited for nourishment. Um, It's going to be great. Food, water. Yeah. Yeah. I can go for some fucking ramen is what I could go for. Huh? I could go for some ramen. That's what I could go for. It oh. just popped into my head. Oh. Anyways, we don't have to talk about that. You know, nobody Let's cares hear about now that. Or later. Mm-hmm. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Let's get well, the fuck should, out of here. You should figure out that situation. Yeah, but I'm not gonna do it on air. No, you don't have to do it right now, this second. But after the after this moment is finished. Yeah. You can figure that out. Jump on postmates and figure postmates. it out. Postmates. <laughs> Cool. That's exciting. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's fucking... Let's just end it. Let's end Why it. are you dragging this out? Because I think... Put, uh, p- please put us out of our misery. Oh. <laughs> That's, you can't do that. Oh. Uh, you can't do that. <laughs> Is it working? I think that's inappropriate because of gun violence. Pardon? <laughs> because of gun violence. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Too soon? So, it's too soon. I'm so sorry. It's so soon. You're going to have to choose so a much. different way. Uh, you said, but you said put, put us out. That's the most compassionate way to put something out. Is it fucking shoot it in the face? Between the eyes. You were pointing at my, uh, my solar plexus, which is uh, fucked up. It's, it's fucked a, up, dude. It's a unicorn gun, so it's just... It's Shoots rainbows? Just rainbows and stars. Right into my... Which is the chakra here? Uh, your solar plex, yeah. All right, well, it's fucking self-titled. Yeah. The, the titular. We call that the titular. The titular. <laughs> right above your navel, right below your diaphragm. Yeah. Did you say diaphragm? Diaphragm. Right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not your di- yeah, or whatever. Is it diaphragm or diaphragm? It's whatever you want it to be. Wait, are no, you I want to celebrate. You no, no, no. I wrong? celebrate. I celebrate the way people say things. I like that. There's a difference. We don't all have to speak exactly the what same. Is, what? Diaf- diaphragm is how I would say it. How did I say it? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. Uh, uh-huh. I'm probably saying it wrong. No, you're diaphragm. saying it how you say it, diaphragm. and it didn't. I knew what you were talking. It didn't like uh, hinder communication, which is the whole point of words. Okay. Like if if I know what you're saying, yeah. fucking say whatever. It's not like you're speaking Cockney to me or, or uh, pigeon English. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I still understand you. Yeah. Um, you know what's been really bothering me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what's been really bothering you? What a great time to bring this up. What? Uh, so how do you deal with your mustache going up your nose all the time? A lot of anger. Yeah. Uh, no, I, so, okay. You just gotta, you gotta trim for, uh, you gotta trim, right? You gotta keep it a little, a little lower. Um, 
And the ones that tend to be super high that curl up, just nip those at the base. Like, don't even fuck with those. Nip them in the butt. Right, wherever. Just as close to the uh, the skin as possible. Um, I'll have these situations. There's nothing you can really do. Like, I'm still a rookie to growing a beard. You could wax it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like that. I'm like a rookie when it always comes back to this spot. Like, this is a new fountain. Yeah. And so... I, I just run into so much tickling and itching <laughs> situations all the time. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating. And I hate it when it's, like, in meditation. Maybe that's your exercise for the day, though. It's your such meditative a exercise. exercise. So many days out of the month, my exercise is, like, itches on my face. <laughs> because it's, like, you're not supposed to change anything. All right. If you're just, like, fixated on it, that's your discomfort in the mind and shit. Yeah. So you, like, can... Typically, if you get an itch, you can move away from it. But when it's a freaking, like, your own facial hair curling back on your skin, and it's just, like... Er, 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 and yeah. you're, like, breathing. And <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You feel moving like, with every breath. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like... Er, 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 <laughs> and you're just, like... It's tickling you more and more and more, and you're just, like, this is madness. Yeah. There's nothing to do about that, I'm sorry to say. All right. You're just going to have to meditate it away. Like, I'm, I've been going at my nose and my face the whole time because of the mask and the way it was pressed up on my face when yeah. was, it was soaking wet. Yeah. And our face was soaking wet. So now my mustache is, like, itching me in so many different ways. I can't help you. I'm so sorry. It just All hurts. right. Yeah, unless you want to put some hard wax or something in it. I I should maybe maybe I need to start getting into that hard wax. No, 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 no. I mean, you could try it, but it's not going to be. I don't think you're gonna like it. Yesterday too, I I was just like with the humidity we had, I was just like <sighs> my itchiness and the beer and everything. Yeah. And there has been a couple times today where I've been like, do I just want to go back to being like be so five nice. o'clock shadow addy all be the so time? So nice, dude. I dream of that sometimes. Yeah. Like, ooh, my face was free. Yeah. It's like... If I didn't feel the sweat trickling over yeah, each, like, follicle nothing. root. Sometimes I just want to feel young again. <laughs> you don't cool. want to have a grizzled beard where you're just like, Ugh, Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some fucking shit. <laughs> I know. That's basically what a lot of people look like right now is, like, <laughs> yeah. they've seen a lot of shit. Like, beards make you look like you've seen so much shit. I normally quaff my beard fairly. What is quaffing? Uh, sounds like it's not what it sounds like, I'll tell you sounds that. Sounds like a very disastrous no, bird no, no. ritual. It's, um, um, uh... Something a pigeon does to people. No, no, that no pigeons. Really There's awful. no pigeons involved. What you do to a pigeon. There's no pigeons involved. Okay. It's, uh... Like a bonsai tree, what like quaff? Uh, what would you call like maintain or curate, pruning. shape, beard shape? Maybe beard shape is the best Shaping, word. Pruning. Yeah, usually. Well, for me, I usually do it really like you know, get, clean the neck and they call uh, keep it, it off the lip. I call it quaff. Quaff. You quaff something. You know, like you, you quaff it. Like, of course. No, no, no. Like, imagine, look at my hands, what no, they're doing. it's not like I do not the understand quaff. the definition, but you're... I don't think you are understanding the definition. Okay, there's, there was a lot of layers, like, the way you said it. Like, first of all, like, you quaff something. Okay, noted. No, when you say it doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you were saying it like there are, is a large group of people that have it in their vernacular. <laughs> That they're just going around quaffing shit all Usually day. Usually people who say vernacular know what the word quaff means. It's not <laughs> my fault that you don't. Okay, can you quaff... Okay, you could quaff your beard. Yeah. Can you quaff your dog's fur? I like, think. Let's say if yeah, you I had think. like a nice uh, husky chow mix. It, I don't think it matters the dog. Can you quaff a, a Christmas tree? No. Why? I don't think there's enough because that's okay because the branches and the pine needles are rigid and they can't be you can't manipulate them to look. But you could because quaffing here quaffing has an implied manipulation factor to you know the strands and so it like you know you're, you're kind of like soft swirling your hair up a little bit or like uh, you know a little curls okay, here maybe like I'm familiar with those you know let me quaff I feel this. like. A deja vu as we discuss it. Like, yes, maybe I do get quaffing. 
I don't. I mean, I've always, I get quaffing, but I mean, I like, don't like when you say quaffing. <laughs> I don't like how you're ruining the word. But is it a verb? <laughs> you're dragging it through verb? your mud. Your disgusting you, Boston mud. So a, a quaff is a, a a moment, an instant of quaff. No, I believe it's a, of ben a verb. You're quaffing. To quaff. So you can quaff, but can you be in the moment of quaff thing? I'm quaffing someone's hair or beer. We've said quaff so much now, I don't know. Like, <laughs> if you're a hairstylist. I get the question. Like, just full just body lost. hairstylist. I'm lost in the quaff. Like, you could cut, you could shave. Could and if you're gonna not take the quaff it is off, the style you're part. Quaffing. You're the, the quaff is the style part. But is quaffing pertaining to something with only body that can be manipulated? I think. I think so. Yes. So if someone has really flat hair, you can't quaff their hair. You can try. It's not quaffable. You can try. What if it's not quaffable? No, no, no. Because now but could it be not quaffable? No. You can Anything always try can to quaff. Quaffed. It doesn't quaff isn't a, to quaff. isn't a qualifying. There's no qualifying to quaffing. It's only quantifying. How quaffable? Yes. But there's no no quaffing. What? So you could even if someone's hair is so flat, but it comes up a little. You bit, still quaff the shit out of that. Slightly quaffed. doesn't matter. You can quaff it. It's slightly, 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 slightly quaffed. Yeah. But there's <laughs> acutely quaffed. So, ac- <laughs> There's a cute quaffing, but there's no, it's not quaffable. It's I, not quaffable. You cannot quaff that person. No, okay. no, no, no. No, because quaffing isn't an end result. Quaffing is a present act. Of suitable conditions. Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> you're just of quaffable No, hair. I know what you're doing. Fuck you. I know what you're doing. <laughs> And I, you know what I'm saying. I get they what you're what I'm saying. saying. I'm just trying to be sure that oh, anything fuck. can be quaffed. No, anything cannot be quaffed. That was the point. No, you can't quaff I mean, a goddamn Christmas tree. No, but that's what I mean. It's not quaffable. But you can <laughs> quaff a hair. Yeah, but you can't start pointing things out and be like, that's, qu- that's quaffable. That's not quaffable. <laughs> like uh, wool like on a sheep could be quaffed. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes it can, sure. Uh, is it, <laughs> is it called wool if it's still on the, uh, is it, it's wolf, not called hair, right? Wool, uh, sheep's, sheep wool, sheep wool. sheep's, sheep's fur, it's not fur, right? Sheep's, sheep's hair, sheep's hair, sheep's hair, <laughs> why, why is it so hard? Can a bonsai tree be considered quaff? If I could move around just by touching a tree, is that no, 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 no? Because anything you do to the bonsai tree is cutting. It's a permanent or it's a semi-permanent thing. But quaffing is very temporary. Right, styling. Yeah, exactly, styling. Okay. Yeah, synonymous with styling. So you're not <laughs> quaffing a sculpture. No. Or clay. Clay. Clay is not being quaffed. clay? No, I would say not. No. No, that's called so molding. So it's a hair The word thing. for that it's is molding. It's a hair thing. It's a so- Yeah, it's a hair thing. Only hair. Yeah, yeah, only hair. You can only quaff hair. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Or I could quaff if you have like, we're no. like no. old style no. and you had like no. a ruffle. No, I know what you're going. No, I know what you're saying. Shirt. No, you don't quaff that. You Like you can... Mm, you can no. manipulate it no. to be more I, chunky again. Stop doing what you're doing and no. I'm quaffing my shirt. You're not. More no, you're not. You're, you're just pulling I'm it. I'm quaffing my, my quaffable. What are those? Uh, shirt. I know what you're saying. Like the puffy? Prince? The puffy. Um, yeah, like old school style shirts. Oh, God. I don't and know. I have one in my. Open of your jacket, they would be like, I have one in my room right now. A puffy quaff. shirt. Yeah. yeah, it's a puffy. I don't know what. I don't know what those are called. The the cuff. The cuff. It's just a long cuff, right? No. The but what are all the layers of those fabrics? I'm sure they have words, dude. You gotta those, ask those are quaffable. 
No, they're not. Because okay. they're not hair. Just hair. Just hair and whatever sheep grow. Okay. When it's not shorn. Fair game. All right. Those are all the words of the day. All right. I need to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's do <laughs> Please. It. Please let me out of this fucking... Take care, everybody. Fun house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're on iTunes now. Oh, that's right. We have yeah. an actual update, like a yeah. business. So our shit's on iTunes. If you're not listening to us on iTunes now, uh, yeah, Spotify, Why are they so elitist SoundCloud, about it? YouTube, because I guess we were so badass, it took them a while for us. I just thought we sucked. Us. They're like, fuck these guys. They said, fuck these. Fuck, fuck these. you guys. Fuck these guys. Two dudes. Fuck these two. Fuck these, these two dudes, dudes specifically. Dudes. Fuck them. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. So cool. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted your list. No, that's but you don't have to list it off. Everyone knows. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Quantu dudes. Quantus. What'd you say? Quantus. Oh, God damn it. I'm not. I'll yell at you next time. Quantu. Dudes. <laughs>